Armin in the back, 104.5 The Team, 104.5 The Team.com. Tomorrow at 4 o'clock, Oklahoma going up against number four ranked, excuse me, number one ranked Clemson and number four ranked Oklahoma. Josh McQuistian is publisher of Soonerscoop.com and he's got the scoop about the Oklahoma Sooners. And Josh, this week, quarterback Baker Mayfield uh, talked trash about TCU, about the way they recruited him, uh, talked trash about the guy in Lubbock, Texas, that wrote about uh, Baker's time at Texas Tech. What is his deal, man? Why does he keep talking? I, you know, honestly, I think this is, I don't want to say a ploy, but that, that, I don't think that's far off. I, I think it's a way for him to keep his edge. I think that's the kind of thing, you know, you go back to the stories about Michael Jordan getting cut from his team. Well, they didn't actually allow freshmen to play on the varsity. You know, like so there's, there's all those kind of things. And, I, and I'm certainly not comparing Baker Mayfield to Michael Jordan. I'm just saying certain guys kind of have to keep that fire going. And I think that's kind of how Mayfield does it. I, I, he has to, you know, whether it's call somebody out or say what he thinks. You know, I, to be perfectly honest, I had no problem with his comments. Josh, as we prepare for, for the game and, and get ready, Oklahoma doesn't have the best track record in the big bowl games. What have they done to correct that? Well, you know, to me, that's the question. I mean, you know, you talked to Stoops, and he mentioned, you know, this season, really, they were doing some things different preparationally, kind of, you know, and it's funny to bring this up today of all days, but taking some things out of Chip Kelly's playbook, some things on how they went through their game week, prepared, you know, how they would practice, you know, a tougher practice later in the week and then kind of soft through the week, you know, just just a change from the things they've done. And it seems to have worked well. I mean, I, you know, talking to some of the guys that are down there, talking to, you know, when they meet with the media, there is definitely a feeling that these practices of, <laughs> practices in Miami have been exceedingly physical and that really Oklahoma has just kind of, you know, I, I think at times really, you know, you look back to the 04 game and I thought Oklahoma really lost focus. This team feels kind of lunch pail. They, they're just going to go and do their work, and they don't have all the superstars that team did, and I think that's going to pay off for them, just because I think they're a little bit more mature as a team. Josh McQuistian of Soonerscoop.com. They have all of your uh, Oklahoma Sooners football needs, what you need to know getting ready for the Orange Bowl tomorrow. Kick off at 4 o'clock right here on 104.5 The Team. Josh, Brent Venables, interesting storyline. The defensive coordinator at Clemson. He was the D.C. at Oklahoma from 99 to 2011. How does that past relationship affect this game? Well, you know, and it would be a more interesting storyline if it hadn't played out last year. But it still, to me, is really interesting because last year was so bad. I mean, you know, you look at that Russell Athletic Bowl when these two teams played, and it was just pitiful football from Oklahoma. You know, they came out, looked like a team that was disinterested, didn't feel they should have been in that bowl, uh, you know, from a perspective of where their talent was and preseason ranking was and all those things. So, to me, this is the first time you're going to see where it seems like two teams ready to go play. And I, and I do think it's interesting because so much of what Brent Venables and Mike Stoops do is incredibly similar. I mean, you can watch them on tape. You can talk to them. You know, they'll own it. It's very similar in ideas. They have some different personnel groupings and that kind of thing. But these are two offenses that I would be very surprised if they're, you know, I guess I hate to repeat myself, if they're surprised with what they see uh, tomorrow night. Th- those are just two defenses they're going to be familiar with. The personnel, the players are going to be different. Obviously, Clemson has a lot of, uh, you know, Shaq Lawson's an absolute superstar for them at defensive end. So, uh, you know, I think that's where it gets interesting. It's just what can those two coordinators, both Mike Stoops and Brent Venables, throw out there that looks um, a little different, can shake up Baker Mayfield and Deshaun Watson a little bit. All right, well, here's the question. Who wins the Orange Bowl? I've gone back and forth. I, you know, I, I said it all along. I think these are the two most from offensive, defensive, run game, pass game. I think these are the two most balanced teams in the country. They they have no glaring weakness. They may not be great at everything, but there's nothing that jumps out at you as that's a huge problem. And I, to me, I think it's just going to come down to the basics: turnovers, who plays better as a quarterback between Watson and Mayfield. I lean just a little bit towards Mayfield in that argument. I think Watson showed a little more propensity for a few bad decisions, some bad mistakes, and I think that's probably what wins. But, I mean, this is going to be a fourth-quarter game. Somebody's going to make a play. 
you know, the last five minutes that wins this game, in my opinion. Josh McQuishan, Soonerscoop.com, at Soonerscoop on Twitter. Josh, enjoy the game uh, tomorrow, and who knows, man, hopefully we'll be talking to you again next week. Hey, sounds great, guys. This is my northernmost interview, so I'm excited to return. (laughs) Welcome back, man. I hope you're wearing a jacket during this interview because it's a little frigid up here. 